stuff, right? Looks like this one. Ten thousand four hundred and sixty days ago, you were born. Somebody had said to me, ten thousand four hundred and sixty days from now, you, Bill, would be a minister, and you would be marrying your daughter in Payne's Prairie. I would have told them they were crazy. Two and a half years ago, the two of you stood here eating Taco Bell. <laughs> Somebody had told you then you're going to wind up here in two and a half years being married. But earlier today, the two of you told me the story of how it happened, and it all seemed logical. It all seemed like it should have happened. There was just no way it could not have happened. Except there's no way you could have seen it when you stood here two and a half years ago. And today, you start another adventure. And you've got ideas for the future. But who knows? So my blessing to you is a wish that many years from now the two of you look back together and have seen a life full of adventure and surprises and love. And then you will see how it all fit together. That what starts today 
knew it was a grand journey. So let us begin. Welcome everyone, friends and family. A few years ago, the ancient spirits, the timeless and sacred prairie smiled down on these two and brought them together. They fell in love so deeply and completely that today they will make a bond and sacred covenant whereby their hearts, their bodies, and their souls will be united as one in marriage for the rest of their lives. Today we come here to celebrate their love and their commitment to each other. We come here today to witness their marriage. Sam and Alyssa, since a marriage can only be entered into by two persons who do so freely and of their own accord, I ask you now to declare before these people your consent. And I'll walk you through it. It's simple. First, Sam, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together in matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, and keep only to her as long as you both shall live? I do. And Alyssa, will you have this man to be your wedded husband? To live together in matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and in health, and keep only to him as long as you both shall live? It is now time to say the vows which will marry you. Sam, repeat after me. I, Sam Holder, take you, Alyssa Sewell, I, Sam Holder, take you, Alyssa Sewell, to be my wedded wife, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, for sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part, to love and to cherish till death do us part. This I solemnly vow. This I solemnly vow. Alyssa. I, Alyssa Sewell, take you, Sam Holder. I, Alyssa Sewell, take you, Sam Holder. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poor. For better, for worse, for richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish till death do us part. To love and to cherish till death do us part. This I solemnly vow. This I solemnly vow. Lucinda, you can bring the rings. Thank you. These rings are an outward and visible sign of an inward love, signifying to all the uniting of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Sam, please place the ring on Alyssa's third finger on the hand side. And repeat after well <laughs> and repeat after me. In token and pledge of the ma of the vow made between us. In token and in pledge and the vow made between us. With this ring I marry you. With this ring, I marry you. Alyssa, now place the ring on Sam's finger. You can say after me, in token and pledge of the vow made between us, with this ring, I marry you. As by these rings you symbolize your marriage bond, may their meaning sink into your hearts and bind your lives together by devotion and faithfulness to one another. In mutual self-consecration and an ever-deepening love for each other, may you establish a home filled with the spirit of faith.
by the love that has brought you here today, by the vows you have exchanged and by the strength and integrity of your commitment, in the presence of the community of friends and family gathered here today, it is my pleasure and my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. May all blessings be upon you. May joy pervade your lives together. May your home be forever a place of peace, happiness, and true fulfillment. You may kiss each other. Woo! Huzzah! <laughs> My friends, I am honored to introduce to you Sam and Alyssa Holder, husband and wife. Understand my ups and downs There you were With sweet love and devotion Deeply touching my emotion I want to stop Thank you, baby I want to stop And thank you, baby Yes, I do How sweet it is to Feel so fine. How sweet it is to be loved by you. I close my eyes at night, wondering where would I be without you in my life. Everything I did was just a bore. Everywhere I went. Thank you, baby.